I'm here today with Isolt Ward, the co-founder of a charity called Food Cloud, which is based here in Ireland. Isolt, what is Food Cloud? What does it do? So we work with businesses across the food supply chain and where there is good edible surplus food, we will do our best to redistribute that out to charities. Food waste is a big issue. What sort of problems does it cause? Food waste um, is a massive global problem that we're trying to deal with. And this food can be lost or wasted across the global food supply chain. So it can happen at a farm level, it can happen through at manufacturing, distribution, at retail, and also in our home. So at every stage of food production, packaging, distribution, we lose some of it. And it's a big loss and it hurts the people mostly who can ill afford it. And it hurts our planet. All of this food that's going to waste results in about 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So a lot of this food ends up being dumped. When it's dumped, dumped it rots down and releases methane gas, which does just awful damage to the atmosphere. Yes, methane is a particularly potent greenhouse gas emission. Um, but even food that is grown for humans sometimes ends up even in compost or anaerobic digestion and they are better alternatives to landfill, definitely. But ultimately you are still losing um, some of the energy that went into producing that food, transporting that food, the water that has gone into it. So really our objective must be that food that is meant for the human food supply chain, we should keep it in that supply chain. What can we do as normal householders to alleviate this issue? Well, it is one problem that everybody can do something to solve because everybody eats. And that means that we can all make an effort to reduce our own food waste. There are going to be many more people on this planet by 2050 and we need to find the food to feed them but we also need to do that in a way that looks after our planet. It's clear that with food going to waste if we reduce this and if we all make an effort to reduce it across the food supply chain um, that we have a much, much better chance of feeding people and reducing hunger whilst also um, fighting climate change.